So hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to start uh, indirect tags. Okay, we are going to see indirect tags in MCC. So what is indirect tag? Here we have discussed about the tags here, right? Here you can see we have created some tags. Okay. Uh, these are your external tags. Okay. Uh, apart from that, there are internal tags. So these tags you cannot uh, means uh, uh, don't need to make any changes here. You can use this uh, for temporary purpose. Okay. Now for our indirect tags, okay, these are your direct tags. Okay. For indirect tags means uh, if I'm having suppose uh, many outputs which I need to control using the same uh, inputs, okay? Same input star stop command I want to use to start the multiple outputs, okay? But which output you want to make on or off that we have to select first and then do the start and stop command. That means <clears throat> that I cannot uh, do the same input star stop command to all the outputs, right? So for that purpose, we are using one indirect tag, okay? which is taking data from your start stop command and uh, updating your output. Okay, so which are the output we select. So for our example, I create some tags here, like M1 as a binary tag. And for this, I give the output address, like uh, Okay, suppose three tags and two all our digital tags and four and three. Okay, so this is the output I want to control. Okay, using indirect tag. Okay, we're using same uh, start stop command for this three outputs. But which output address I want to start or stop that I need to select first. Okay. Now after creating these uh, tags, I go to the graphics designer. I create one more picture here. New picture. And I remember this as a indirect. Okay. Now, one more thing what we have to do is uh, we have to create one more indirect tag in tag management in the internal tags for temporary purpose. Okay. I think I already created here. Uh, yes. You can see there's one tag here I created uh, already indirect underscore tag one. Okay, so this is a text tag. I created the data type as a text tag. Okay, for this inter internal tag, you don't need to give any address. Okay, because internal tags are not having any address. It's a temporary memory and what data type you need that you can create. Okay, so here I have created data type as text tag, 8-bit character. Now, so from graphics designer, when this uh, indirect tag prints, now for our example, from standard window, I select uh, some circle. Change the <coughs> properties effects here and I skim. Okay, then right click and duplicate it. For another output, duplicate it for one more. But 
So for our start or stop command, we need buttons. So I take two buttons here. Press start. Change the text here. I click configuration dialog. Stop. Now, select the circle. So consider this as our motor one. Second circle as motor two indication, and third circle as motor three indication. Okay, that's the motor status. Okay, so it is on or off. Now, <coughs> select the first motor. What we need to do? Click here. Color property to this. Go to the properties. Colors, background color. Right click here, go to dynamic dialog. Data type as Boolean. Here we have to select uh, background colors. It's true, green color. And this fonts. Okay. okay. Now here we have to assign a tag name. There's a tag name, someone. So, okay. Now, what another action we have to give? Here, when we are giving the start command, this will be <coughs> going on. On means it's changing the color, right? So that, so that color change property we are given here. Now, we need to select the motor also, right? So select the events property within this mouse action. Generally, we are using mouse, right? And press left. Direct connection. Constant. We have to select the tag name with M1 or uh, M1 to the tag. That. So here, that means I'm selecting a constant option means there is our uh, name, okay, text, okay, and indirect tag we are defined, defined as a text tag. So what happens when I select this uh, object circle? For this, I assign the tag name one M one, right? So this M one will move to indirect tag directly. Okay, so in indirect tag, it is storing this M one tag name okay then say okay similarly we have to go for the second one we we'll also have to give the same command like uh, direct connection constant m2 tag same indirect tag Direct, okay. Good answer. Oh, right. So, second color. This is for your tag name. The third motor, same way. Here. Okay. Now, we have to move. We have to move. We have is left direct connection constant and three to indirect tab. So 
Now, next thing what you need to do is the start button. Right? When you give start command, go to the events, mouse, press left, C action, or not C action, you can use your. Direct use uh, direct connection constant one value one to the tag where same indirect tag here it should move value one to the indirect tag an In indirect tag whichever the motor we are selected okay the tag is there right so it should move this value one indirect to the tag <clears throat> okay indirectly to the tag so that's why here we have to select indirect. Okay, first start and stop. Okay, similarly for stop. When you press start, it should be one. And when you press stop, it should be zero. So constant zero to your tag. Indirect tag. Indirect. Okay. So okay. Then I save this. Now, one more thing, if you want to display which motor you are selected, okay, for that also you can use text tag option here, static text in this. Uh, you can select this text tag, go to the object properties below, in this properties font, okay, the font text, so you have to make it dynamic right so right click on the dynamic select tag which tag is to display indirect tag means whichever motor we are selecting that motor tag is coming in this indirect tag so that indirect tag value means uh, which uh, motor is selected that it will display so that's why i'm selecting indirect tag as a display tag okay and you can change the font size some bold, something centered, center. Okay. So this is Center. Save this window. Save this in the right time.
enough. So we are in run mode. Okay. So we will start the motor one. See, when I move this cursor here, it is showing a symbol here. Means we can select this object. So when I select the object, so which motor is selected here? Motor one. So when I give start, motor one is on. If I want to start motor three, I select the motor three. Motor three selected. Start. Motor three is on. To start motor two, select motor two. Start. Similarly, if I want to stop the motor three first, select it, stop. Motor one then select, stop. Select, stop. Like that, you can select start or stop the outputs or inputs. Okay. But not inputs, outputs. Okay. So these are what the indirect tags.